everybody, welcome to another episode of Epic Arma, and today we have an epic uh, AA, or anti-air battle. So, what I did is I put a whole bunch of, uh, we are actually up for, by the way, we are the Russians, and I put AA pods here. And um, they are not AA guns like you know them from, for example, World War II movies um, with flak. Um, but they're rocket driven and I have uh, in total there are 600 units <laughs> and I have a total of 150 planes reason why I have a lot more um, pods than planes is because because it's rocket driven and stuff they tend to miss a lot and so that will that will happen a lot a lot of these planes though it might seem as a small group will actually survive um, of course, I was talking about the World War II. There's a World War II mod for this game, so in the future, hopefully, I will also be able to make uh, this situation, but with um, uh, C... Actually, are they also called the C-130? The old models? Well, anyway, the, the, the drop, um, drop planes and um, German uh, anti-air, so that would be also be a pretty cool scenario. Maybe even do it at night to see all the lighting effects. I will uh, do this mission three times. Um, one time I'll be the Russians, one time I will be actually f be flying one of the planes, and the third time will actually be kind of a surprise of what I will be. This should be a pretty short um, segment though for each unit because it's pretty much to show the chaos uh, and not necessary to wait until all of the planes are destroyed. There's no real goal in this map. It is just to see the chaos. From a different aspect, of course. I did the epic jet battle already in Arma 2, and um, this might be kind of reminiscent to that, in that we have a lot of crashing planes, but uh, let's see what happens. I had the problem in the beginning that the rockets, the AA rockets, would actually hit each other on the ground and thereby kill themselves. Well, that did not work out well. That's what I'm talking about. So they, for some reason, they, they fucking uh, shoot in the ground. Hold on, we're gonna do that over again. Cut! Come on. I probably need to stand in a better place. I, I At first, actually, I put my character on the landing strip, but I think I placed the... Like, like, most of the damage that will be done... I need to get the fuck out of here. Like, a lot of planes will actually crash up there, Jesus. That was dangerous. So I'm having a lot of lag here. With, of course, all the units. That plane just flew into a tree? I think that one will too. Or not. Nope. So yeah, you will see a lot of that. So alright, so the, the, the... How the ground looks, or how it looks on the ground, might not be too spectacular. But let's, uh... Be a pi- oops. Let's be a pilot, shall we? Uh, huh? Alright. 
Let's see if we can survive. We can probably survive. There are so many planes out there that we are in the kind of the back lines, so we should be all right. Hopefully, I don't crash against another plane, though. That would suck. It does happen because there's so many groups on top of each other that some of them make a make a wrong maneuver, fly into each other. You know the deal. All move 500 meters northwest of Alpha. So we need to move a little bit more to the left. And you can imagine that the parrot, uh, the parrot drop on fucking Normandy will look something like this. Let's go up, since we're over already. And let's do something that's impossible. I've got a lot of shit on my video um, about the where I do the epic race. Where uh, I say like uh, the uh, physics or arma are not very realistic because like a helicopters can flip and planes can flip, and I do indeed uh, have to say I was wrong about the helicopters. Helicopters can flip, but planes and I'm talking about big planes like this, cargo planes or pla you know transport planes, um, trains you know that that uh, transport humans as well. Um, they cannot do this shit. What you see right here. It is impossible. This. There will be so, there will be so much resistance on the fucking hull that the roof of the fucking plane would just collapse. And I know this because my mother is actually a senior purser, which means like she's the head stewardess uh, on a plane for KLM, which is the Royal Dutch Airline. And she asked a pilot that after. Uh, I showed her the trailer for the movie Flight, which is for Denzel Washington, who like lands a plane by like flying upside down and blah blah. That is impossible, people. If you say otherwise, you're a fucking idiot. So there. So with that ultra realistic armor, I still love armor, but no, it's not very realistic in terms of this. So, now that we have shown that, uh, I want to... I don't know actually if I still have that. Yes. So what I'm doing here, uh, what's pretty uh, pretty spectacular, is... I make now a free camera, which, hold on. Um, let's do a little bit over half. What this will trigger is a free camera, which means that I can move the camera freely, I'm like in spectator mode, I'm not actually controlling an enemy, but I can just swoop around a battlefield and look and zoom in everything and stuff. Uh, which would be pretty cool to make like machinima movies maybe in the future, if I uh, get more of the hang of it. Um, speed will be reduced to 60%. Uh, it, it, normally it's on half, uh, if you put it on one it will be normal speed, um, but it looks a little bit cooler with a little slow motion. Uh, that way, I can kind of, you know, clearly see what everybody's doing. And so, um, let's get going. This might also be cool for like other scenarios. Not every epic scenario, but kind of cool for like different camera perspectives when an epic jet battle or something like that would happen. Like an infantry battle, I don't think is really necessary with that, since it's probably pretty uh, cooler to be the infantry and be actually 
part of that same epic battle. So there you can already see the crash that happened between a few between a few unit units. You can also zoom in, which is a pretty cool effect. Here you can see the first damage that's being done. All of the planes are now coming in. I actually don't know exactly how many planes there were. Um, maybe one of you guys can tell me that. I know that some of you are pretty uh, World War II freaks. How many um, planes were used in um, D-Day, or should I say the night before D-Day, where the paratroopers were dropped uh, in Normandy? How many dropping planes did they have? I don't know, like, I, I guess something like 300 or something? 300 planes? Something like that. I read somewhere once that, that said that on D-Day, like a thousand American people died. I was like, my guess would bet that it'd be more than that. Wow, did it just... Did it fly into my camera? No, it didn't. It flew against the other one. So now the last group of airplanes is actually coming in. see all the wrecks and most of the damage is actually being done by planes just flying against each other and crashing that way you can see the Russians doing their thing over there and you can see that even with six six Hundred AA units. Um, still, a lot of planes are out there, and I don't know what's normal for a base to have in terms of AA guns. I would say ten, and I wouldn't even find that many in terms of AA. But if you have like ten AA units, you can forget about it. You can't forget about it. So, guys. Oh my God, we got fish eye. So, uh, that was it for this epic scenario. Um, keep sending in those suggestions for new epic scenarios. And I will see you guys next time.